hello everyone welcome back to Sonia kitchen today i will be making a sorted meat stew these are the ingredients i will be using today here is my tomatoes and my red pepper that i will be using also i have my tomatoes paste here and I will be using olive oil here I have my assorted meat already boiled and here I have onions I want onions to be mush in this stew I have onions and crush bonnet pepper I also have ginger and garlic inside that I will be blending. I will be blending in, blending this one different. And I will also be adding my prams. Here is prams. And here I have two smooth fish that I will be adding also. Here is my crayfish. I will be blending this crayfish alongside with pepper and onions. And I will also be adding six eggs. I have six eggs. It's a special stew. <laughs> Here I have onions that I'll be chopping. I'll be chopping these onions and I have four seasoning cube known. This are the ingredients that I will be using. Okay, I will just go ahead and blend my tomatoes and my red pepper. Okay, guys, see you later. Guys, everything is ready. Here I have my pot already in the fire. Here is my olive oil. I will be, you can cook this too with any oil of your choice yeah i just want to use olive oil i will just be adding much because <laughs> i love my stew with much oil if the oil is not up the beauty of it is even the oil so if it's not enough i will still add <laughs> I'll be adding my Onions, my onions is, is in. Okay, I'm going to be adding my tomato paste. Tomato test on second. I'm just going to dry it until it change color. Because I don't want to wear we'll be eating and be holding your your mouth also. The tomatoes bite, I don't just like it. It will just keep the taste of the food, no matter how the ingredients you apply to it. So I'm going to let my oil dry. It's wet dried now. So I'll be adding my blended tomatoes and red pepper that I blend. I'll just be adding it but I'm also is dried. You see all the oil is up because it's wet dried. 
here I have my tomatoes you see I blend it I cooked it a little for some minutes and I pour it in the filter I filtered it that's how I do my tomatoes I have two way of boiling my tomatoes I have two way of drying my tomatoes maybe in my next video where I will be cooking still I will use the other way the other method you see how it dries it the last water that came from it see how clean it is I'm still going to leave it a little so the boat will be well dried although my tomatoes don't have any water in it but I'm still going to leave it is perfect way to dry your tin tomatoes and your tomatoes to avoid some disgusting taste from it you know it's so annoying when you are trying to eat something eat rice you add your stew the next day you will hold your jaw <laughs> for some seconds before you can add other stew to your mouth it's so annoying sometimes you know, all just Nigeria tomatoes. They are somehow. So you need to be very careful when you are using it. If you are not careful, it will just turn you to someone that does not know how to cook. I'm still going to leave it for some many to dry very well. Okay, here we go. Here I have my pepper, onions. And the crayfish that I blend, I will just add it to dry it alongside with the tomatoes. Stay together, stay, stay, stay. Stay together. Oh, guys, the aroma already. Mm. Can't just imagine. A a a a a a a a. I like to dry and I'll be adding my seasoning cube. Curry 
powder. Add in my curry powder. Stir it together. And here is my time to meal. In Spanish, it's time. Add in my time. I already boiled. The meat with time and curry anyway. And I will also be adding some seasoning. Salt will come later. You see, you see the mode, mode of drying. I've not added the water. Salted meat is half done. Let me add this so we done alongside with it. a little before going to the next level. Okay guys, here we go. Let's move to the next level. I'll be adding water little by little. I don't want my stew to be watering. Stages for it to dry very well. I will be adding my eggs. Boy egg. And I will add two or three of laurel leaves. Now we add the salt for taste. There is no salt. I didn't even boil the meat with enough salt. So just a little. That will be enough for now. And I will stir it one more time. Stir together. And I will just cover it up for it to turn at the same time dry. Okay, okay, guys, see you later. Okay, guys, let me add my fish to it. My 
fish go in, stay together, stay, 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 stay. Here I have my stew ready. You see the step by step stage I take in cooking this stew. You can try it, you can try it your own way the way you want it to be. This is how I want my oat to be, and the taste, the aroma, just the way I want it they are okay guys i have it already please please subscribe to my youtube channel share to your community share it to your village you are free to share me to whosoever you want share me to your family your friends share me to anybody you want to share me with like and if you have something to say Drop a comment in the comment box. Okay, guys, stay around and watch this video from the beginning to the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having me here again. Thank you, all my old and new subscribers. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate you all. I love you all. You all are super amazing people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Once again, here is my stew. See how wonderful, beautiful it is. The way it looks like in the face. That's just the way the taste looks like. Okay, guys. See you around in my next video. Bye.